based on the things because the more you try to live holy and do the things for the people, the more the people come with backlash, with foolishness. Amen. But I just want you to know right now that everything that's being said is not just, you're not the only one hearing it. It's not just that little congregation hearing it or that little community. Now, I want you to know today that Yehovah heard what they're saying. Amen. He understands what's going on. And amen, he's got your back. Amen. He's got your interest. Amen. So, you know, the way you're going to come out of this, amen, in this particular case, is you know that God is going to go before you. Now, you that have been out there and you've been talking about people, okay, God has called you out. Amen. And he's called you. Now, there's only one thing that you can do at this point. Amen. You can come to a place of repentance. You can come to a place of repentance or you can or you can meet judgment because judgment follows sin. The anger of the Lord burned against them and he left them. When the cloud lifted from above, the tent, Marian skin was leprosy. It became as white as snow. Aaron turned towards her and saw that she had a defiling skin disease. And he said to Moses, Please, my Lord, I ask you not to hold against us the sin we have so foolishly committed. Do not let her be like the stillborn infants coming from its mother's womb with its flesh and eaten away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So Moses cried unto the Lord, please God, heal her. And this is what you're going to find out. You know, oftentimes you that have been running your mouth and this and that. You got to be careful who you run your mouth against because the very people that you run your mouth against, amen. And that curse comes upon you. You're going to need that person. You don't know you may need that person to, to, to go before Jehovah in your behalf to bring you your miracle, to, 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 to free you, to bring you your healing, to bring you your deliverance, to bring you your breakthrough. So you got to be careful how you categorize and you run your mouth on Jehovah's servants. Just because you don't understand something doesn't mean that, that you need to always voice your opinion. God can do whatever he wants to do. And he can put whoever he wants to put together. You understand what I'm saying? And so you don't have a right to talk anything other than that. You don't have a right. You don't have a right. And so, you know, we're living in a peculiar time where you need to be separated from a lot of these people. You know, you, want, you, you, you don't want to get into the point where God's anger comes up against you. And... You get judged based on what you've been saying. Get your mouth off leaders. See, you, 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 they were in the tent, amen, and they were talking against God's servant. And then God called all three of them out of the tent, summons them out of the tent, and a pillar, and he summons two of them to come forth, Miriam and Aaron, and while he was speaking to them, he began to talk to them about what they were doing. And then the, the, the pillow of the cloud, he leaves up and they see the fire. And all of a sudden there's a plague upon Marion. Amen. So we want to be careful of what we say for the rest of these days. Be careful what you say. Be careful what's in your heart towards God's servants and the body, period. Keep your mouth off, people. In the book of Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28, I'm going to be reading from 17 to 19. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor so I threw you to the earth and I made a spectacle of you before kings by many sins and dishonest trades you have desecrated 
your sanctuaries. So I made a fire come out from you and it consumed you and I reduced you to ashes on the ground. All the nations who knew you are applaud at you. You have come to a horrible end and will be no more. And the way you start something is not often the way you finish it. And sometimes the way you finish is based on, or we can reverse it, the way you finish in some cases is based on how you start. Now there can be a shift in between there, my beloved brothers and sisters, I mean, because prophetically, Jehovah is given a place of, excuse me, a space of repentance here. And this is what we're talking about. You know, you got to, you have to come, the meek shall inherit the earth. The greatest call that can ever be on mankind is to be a servant. One of the most powerful things that Jehovah has left in the land for us is words. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so you have to be careful of the words that you use as you direct them towards people, places, and things. Amen. You know, Jesus can look at a fig tree and curse it and no fruit ever grow on it. And you have that same ability, you that are living for the things of Jehovah. The, the mouth and the words are very powerful, the things that come from the tongue. And so you don't want to be self-lifted and corrupt. You don't want to make yourself glamorous because of what you got on and proudful of your clothes and your beauty. You don't want to corrupt your wisdom. You know, you don't want to turn that into something uh, uh, that, that, that doesn't please Jehovah. You don't want, you don't want to make God's sanctuary, his sanctuary, a place that is desecrated based on all the stuff that you got going on in it. Amen. The lying, the still, the perversion, the lust. All the things of the world that you got going on. And you turned it into a place where Jehovah can't even be there. He can't do anything but consume it and burn it up. Because you, dis you, you disgraced it. You, 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 you did everything that is against the principles of the law. And the things of Jehovah. And God is crying out for you to listen. Just at this space right here. Just stop and repent. Some of you got small works, you know, you may have five members, some of you may have a hundred members, whatever it is. And then some of you got five and ten thousand, but you got all kind of stuff going on and you're allowing it to go on. And Jehovah's spirit has left that place and he sees you. In Numbers we talked about where he heard him, but there's nothing that you're doing in the dark areas that Jehovah doesn't see and he doesn't know about. Let, let, let's, let's change this. This is the space to change this. This is the space to come clean. This is the space to examine ourselves individually. And, you know, because, you know, we want him to change us. Change me, Yeshua. Make me just like you. Change me, change Zari, and make me just like you. Change me, change me into the image that I need to be that will help your people, and that will build your kingdom come and your will be done. Change me that I don't have pride, but I have love and joy. Change me that my wisdom is perfected, that it ministers and meets the needs of the people, that I make wise decisions according to the kingdom. Change me, Yeshua, that I honor and I know how to reverence in thy temple and thy sanctuary, that it will be holiness unto Jehovah. Change me. Change me. Change me, Yeshua, that your wrath is turned away from this space and that your mercy and grace fits the case. Change me, Yeshua. Make me just like you. Father, right now, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, I give thy name glory, I give thy name honor, and I give thy name praise. Father, I pray right now that you would move by your spirit, and meet the needs of your people. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. Meet the needs of your people, Father. Meet the needs of your people, Lord. Those that are sick and afflicted, Lord. Healing, go over the airways, Lord. Those that are in financial situation, Lord. Your healing, your healing and your miracles. Your release of finances come over the airways. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And we thank you and we praise you, Lord. And I give your name glory, Lord. 
And I give your name honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I give your name honor in the mighty name of Jesus. And I give your name praise. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 We bind the devil over the airways that would come with pride. That would come with envy. That would come with corrupted wisdom, Lord. That would come with the all evil that would bring that they would bring into your house I pray that it would turn around that this would be a space of repentance Lord that the people would come in Lord that they would come in Lord those that would that are coming in Lord with bad intentions and bad motives Lord that I pray that they would come to a place of repentance and that they would come out on the other end Lord seeking you the more Lord asking what must I do to be saved what must I do to change what must I do to change my outcome in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. So we thank you and we praise you, Lord. And I give your name glory and honor, Lord. It's in your holy name I pray this prayer, Lord. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for coming in and going out, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for, for the humbleness, even as Moses, Lord, that the humble, Lord, and the meek, Lord, shall inherit the earth, even as Moses, Lord, that that presence would be upon us and that we would strive for that, Lord, that we would be servants of yours, man, woman, boy, and girl. And I thank you, Lord. And I give your name glory and I give your name honor, Lord. It's in your name I pray this prayer. And I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for your anointing. Cover your people, Lord, as they go in dark areas, Lord, that they would always be light, Lord. Cover them against the attacks of the enemy, Lord, that would linger and learn, try to attach. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. But your people be free over the airways. Your people are free. They're coming out of sickness. They're coming out of a state of cancer. They're coming out of diabetes. They're coming out of dementia. They're coming out of lupus. They're coming out of asthma. They're coming out of sickle cell. They're coming out of high blood pressure. They're coming out of high sugar, low sugar. In the mighty name of Yeshua, you're coming out healed and delivered. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. They're coming out of bad relationships. They're coming out of bad fellowships, Lord. I just thank you, Lord. They're coming out. They're coming out. They're coming out. They're moving away from the lie and the liar. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And I thank you and I praise you. And I give your name glory and I give your name honor. Mm. It's in your holy name I pray this prayer. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you. That is this episode of Coming In and Coming Out. I hope you get to listen to both of them. If you find this ministering to you and you want to share it with a friend, just send it to them. Amen. And Yehovah bless you. Don't forget, people, we have the iOS app for all your Apple devices. You go to the iTunes store and you download our app. It's totally free. And that is I Won't Miss Live Radio. I won't miss live radio. Amen. You download that and you get all the messages and, 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 and everything. They're free and you can download them and have them in your library. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool. Amen. To have. Amen. Play in your car, wherever you are on any of your devices. For the Android as well, you go to your Google Play Store and you just type in, I won't miss live radio. Amen. And that's our free app and it just gives you access to us live 24 hours a day. Amen. Seven days a week. We're excited about our, our upcoming global prayer. Amen. That's going to take place um, September the 15th through the 17th. You don't want to miss it. Amen. I'm calling on you pastors. I'm calling on you pastors. You click on this broadcast at the end of it. You'll see the P.O. box. You can send your prayer requests. Amen. I want I want, I want. your prayers. I want your prayers. Amen. We're just going to get as many prayer requests. And we're just all 72 hours. We're going to just lay this before the Lord. But we're going to be praying globally from everywhere all around the world. 72 hours straight live on the radio. Amen. I won't miss live radio. For, therefore, God's mercy and peace on mankind. God bless you until the next time. Shalom Shabbat. Yehovah's blessings be great with you all. Amen and amen.